guys, so we're gonna make longer videos. Um, these videos are gonna be more accustomed to like eight minutes, 10 minute videos. And because I, uh, in another video, I'm gonna explain why we're gonna make longer videos. We're gonna condense the two videos a day into one video and then like news breaks and stuff like that. But today's video, we're gonna do how much do you pay for a pack? And the reason this is particularly important is in my next video, I'm gonna explain the booster packs have increased in price in Walmart as well as locals. So how much the, the locals might be charging you X amount, but they actually lost 2% uh, according to news on Reddit. But how much do you guys pay for a pack? And I know in Australia, it's about seven bucks a pack. And uh, I, think, I think Great Britain, it's like five bucks a pack. In the US, it's around $4 a pack in Walmart or uh, Walgreens. And at local, so different local game stores have different, uh, what's it called, distributors. And depending on who they use, um, Ally Games I know is notorious for up, for having really bad prices on Magic product. Uh, depending on who they use and how much they order, that depends on, that determines how much the store can charge you per pack. And then the store obviously puts margins on top of that. So how much do I buy packs for? I buy packs very close to cost, like individual packs. I buy boxes for about 80 bucks with tax. So that includes tax and in Texas, our tax is like 8%. So if you took away the tax, it would be $74, I guess. Is that right? Yeah, about $74 is how much I buy a box of the, I can buy a box of cons, Journey into Nyx, uh, Fate Reforged, I can buy any of the in Conspiracy t as well. I can buy any of those boxes for $74 and then tax makes it 80 bucks exactly. And I buy pretty close to cost. And the reason I can do that is because at one of my locals, if I wasn't buying so much other product and supporting them, uh, I buy a ton of Weiss. Um, I don't know, you guys have probably seen that. Then they actually could not there's levels of how much a distributor will charge its uh, store owner. And once you're at the, and not just for Magic Cards, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, all of that stuff, once you order enough, then you go down to the next level and then you have better margins. Here's my point to you guys. If you guys are paying a lot of money for a pack at your locals, you're, you can get it at Walmart cheaper, you can get it at Target cheaper, maybe uh, what, what, what store is out in Australia? Uh, I don't know, but you can buy these packs and you can, from your locals at more money, no, normally more money, at least that's my gut feeling because outside of these two stores that I have a good connection with, I see that the price of packs are kind of, you know, $4, $4.50, about the same as Walmart. Uh, the reason I would should definitely recommend buying packs from your local store, not only to support your local store, not only to, uh, is you get a much better experience when you open packs in the store. So the reason that you would go to a bar and not order and order a drink at a bar is because it's a nice atmosphere. It's a atmosphere where people are drinking and talking and socializing. I feel local game stores offer assuming your local game store isn't, you know, completely trashed, offer this experience. And one of the most unique experiences is when you win a pack or you buy a pack and you open it and you have other people who are looking and seeing what you're opening and you can look and see what they are opening. So there is added value to uh, packs where you would be opening them at a local store. So I can go to uh, the Exxon Mobile right next to my house I can buy a six pack of uh, Bach Shiner for about, what, five bucks? Or I can go buy one Bach Shiner at a bar for five bucks. And the reason I would go to the bar is because there's people who are drinking and socializing and it's a good atmosphere. So when people say, okay, I just want to buy the cheapest pack possible, I feel like they are, they are not understanding or they have, it makes sense in the, since that magic is expensive, I'd never want to say, okay, well, I can buy this, so you guys can buy this too. No, I never want to say that. But 
the atmosphere that your local store provides you, especially when you're buying magic, magic product, be it a box or a pack or um, something of that nature, is, I mean, that is worth buying it from that store. Now, that being said, when I ever, I buy, I hate opening packs. I just hate opening packs. I hate opening them on channel. I, I do it for you guys. I hope, hate opening them in life. My luck is really bad. So I, whenever I buy a box or a case, I just give it to some of the newer players. Some of them I don't even know. And I'm, I'm like, okay, do you guys want to open this box? And a lot of them have never opened a box in their entire life before that point. And they know when I'm going to be, I, arrive in the store probably around like 9 p.m. to open my case and then I'll take two boxes out and I'll open those two and the whole store just participates in opening these boxes and it's a fantastic experience for everybody and it doesn't does it cost me no it doesn't cost me anything because it actually, it actually helps me because I don't particularly enjoy opening packs uh, I'm not one of those people who I just have very bad luck opening packs, but that's kind of my argument of why you should buy packs from a local store. It's the same argument why somebody would buy alcohol or why would you want to just eat at home all the time by yourself. I mean, yeah, you could buy packs from Walmart, but are you going to bring those packs to your local store to open them? No, you. I mean, I, I think you would probably get upset a lot of people, including the store owner, if you did that. That's why packs, you know, I'm okay with paying a premium price for packs, even if I have, sometimes I will. If it's just a random fat pack, I'll buy it for retail. I don't care. Um, but when I'm ordering a lot, you can, you get a lot better pricing when you talk with the owner. So it's always talk with the owner and they can negotiate down prices with you and eventually you reach a price where it's, uh, right now, $74 a box is pretty good for any box in standard. Um, yeah. And I, I get that question a lot, so I'm not like bragging or whatever. I'm just, I get the question a lot. How much do you buy boxes for? I buy, buy them for $74. Fat packs, I buy for 20, it's 28 after tax, so I don't know what it's before. No, it's 27.50 after tax, so before tax, it's like, what, 25 Four twenty-five for a fat pack, and the reason I can get it that cheap is because I have a good uh, relationship with both of the store owners that I help, you know, support. Bye, baby lions.